In this video, I want to look at factoring the difference of two squares. This is a very special case of factoring, and it only works under three conditions. There have to be two terms. There is a minus sign between the two terms, and both terms must be perfect squares. So it looks something like a squared minus b squared and it will factor into two binomials a minus b times a plus b. So let's take a look at this example where we're asked to factor 81x squared minus 49. Well, when we first look at this problem, the thing you notice to start with is there are two terms. So is this the difference of two squares? So to be the difference of two squares, there have to be two terms, definitely true in this case. There has to be a minus sign between them, again, true in this case. And both terms have to be perfect squares. So what I've written over here is a table on the right of the most common numbers we use in these problems. You should definitely know these numbers here are all perfect squares. You should be able to recognize them fairly quickly. So are our numbers over here perfect squares? Well, if you notice, 81 is 9 squared, and 49 is 7 squared. So this is definitely the difference of two squares. So now we're ready to factor this. And remember, it's going to factor into two binomials. The first term comes from the square root of 81x squared. As we saw over here, 81, the square root of that is 9. So it's going to be 9x times 9x, since we want to make an 81x squared. The last term comes from the square root of 49, which we can see from here is 7. And we have to have opposite signs in the parentheses. It doesn't matter which one comes first. I put 9, 9x minus 7 in the first parentheses, 9x plus 7 in the second. I could have done it the other way around. It would have been equally correct. So. I have factored the problem, and here is my answer. The one nice thing about factoring problems is you can easily check your answers. So let's check it by falling it out quickly. First term, 9x times 9x is 81x squared. Outer, 9x times 7 is plus 63x. Inner, 9x times negative 7, negative 63x. And last terms, negative 7 times positive 7 is negative 49. And now look, these middle terms add up to 0. So do I get the original problem I had? Yes, 81x squared minus 49. So you know you have the problem correct. 